Hi everyone, this is a unboxing and first setup of a Gazelle T4 Plus hub tent. The dog's about to TT on the box, we shoo him away, and we open it up. So we, we purchased this tent to really cut down on our setup in uh, pack up time when we go camping. It was taking us several hours to kind of set up camp and pack up camp and we saw this and we thought this would really speed that up. You know as well um, the durability of some of the tents that we we have and we've used just you know, really seemed questionable. These gazelle tents came uh, well reviewed for their durability and you know honestly I was really impressed with the um, the thickness of the fabric of the bag and the how sturdy the straps were and how they were reinforced um, you know really this this seems like something that's going to last for a long time so here we're just opening it up it has those nice thin straps that kind of keep it compact uh, my son is very excited <laughs> about this. So here I'm picking it out of the bag. It's about 50 pounds. I mean, it's it's heavy, but it's not unmanageable. You know, really, I think as long as you're of, um, you know, you're you're tall. Uh, I'm five foot eleven, and I was able to kind of wrestle this without too much trouble. So those are the tent poles and the stake bag, and that's the rain fly that uh, we're taking out. <clears throat> and then obviously the instructions, uh, very important. We're gonna set those aside and uh, just kinda do this by feel. So that makes great YouTube content. We're just gonna kinda spread this tent out. It's kinda rolled, it's, it's kind of a fold and roll. Situation, so we're unrolling it and then um, just unfold it. So mind you, it's only been about a minute and 45 seconds since we opened the bag. We're already this far. So the next thing you want to do is you kind of want to stretch it out, get the floor to kind of its general rectangular shape, and then you're going to pick a panel and you're just going to pull it up. And you're just going to work around the tent. There are five panels, two that I've already pulled up, the one that I'll have now on the end, and obviously the two on the side you can't see. Yeah, and this one, um, you can see from on this side of the tent, there's that rope in the middle of the panel. That whole orange fabric actually rolls up. I roll it up later in the film. And what's happened on the other side is that uh, handle has fallen through that hole. Um, now that we know, you just lift up the orange piece of fabric and you can just pull it out. But here I'm actually getting inside the tent and passing the rope through to my wife to be able to open it and so it, it takes a minutes but still we only been three minutes since we opened the bag and this tent is is almost up uh, it's marketed that it takes 90 seconds to put up i think that's a little on the fast side but I, you know, I, I really feel confident you could have this tent up and the rain fly on and it stake down in five minutes uh, after you do it a couple times. I mean, that's no, no question. Okay, so now the other side is up and you can kind of see the, the tent's kind of upright. So, I'm coming out. The, there's there's going to be three tent poles. Here, uh, two of the longer poles go on vertically on each side of the door. That 
side of the tent is a is a big uh, door that's split down the middle and kind of opens up. So the two longer poles go along the vertical sides, and then the smaller pole is uh, horizontal. It's horizontal across the top of the door. I do this wrong in this video, and don't put the one that goes horizontal across, but uh, it's still kind of hard. So there's just two kind of canvas and rubber grommets that that pole just kind of slides into at the bottom, slides into the top. So then it holds that side up. Now, my floating hand grabs the other pole. And up it goes. And we're just now passing the five minute mark. So five minutes and this, this tent is almost ready. As you can tell, this is a very large tent. Um, you know, we really wanted it to be able to fit two adults and two children comfortably. Um, I mean, and this definitely could. I mean, it could, it could fit two adults and it could fit four adults. It could fit two adults and even up to three kids, that kind of thing. So really, this is a good tent for a, a large group of people. Okay, so I've got the both uh, the vertical tent poles in, and I popped up the left-hand uh, center hub, now the right-hand center hub, and that's it. If you were going to put the rain fly on, you put the rain fly on before you put the center hubs up and the rain fly just drapes over it. There's four um, small poles that are attached to the rain fly and they just go into the um, the poles that are making the arch of the ceiling right now they just go into the ends of those. And that's why you have to do it while it's the hubs are down because the sticks are going to be pointing upwards and then when you flip the hubs up it pulls the rain I taught across all of it. I was really, um, I didn't take a video of putting the rain fly on, but I was really happy with just, you know, it, it looks like it, it, it's going to be nice and tight and the water will just run off of it and you don't have to worry about it, uh, you know, water pooling and soaking through fabric. Uh, one of the things I really like about this gazelle tent without the rain fly is you have a, a pretty open ceiling. It's a very fine mesh in there. And so uh, if, if you are camping somewhere and there is no danger of rain or inclement weather in the nighttime, it'll make for some really nice um, star watching. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm looking forward to updating everyone on our great adventures in this Gazelle T4 Plus Tent. Bye.